Really often inside your project you need a drop-down list with search fetching data from the API. And typically people don't try to implement it yourself, they just Google to find some library to do it for them. But most often this library will be more complicated and will take more time than implementing it yourself. This is why here we will implement a custom Tailwind drop-down inside React, which you can reuse in every project and tune to your needs. And here is our initial project, we don't have anything and just a single component country selector. This is how it looks like, we have our app component inside React and just some markup to center our selector. And the whole custom dropdown with Tailwind we will implement in this country selector. So we want to implement a reusable dropdown country selector, which we can use in different projects without additional complexity or external libraries. And we won't use just some static data, we will fetch them from the API. And we will use restcountries.com slash version2 all with field's name. And then we are getting the whole list of countries that we can reuse in our project. This is why inside our component I want first of all to call a use effect and on initialize I want to fetch this request. This is why as a second parameter an empty array, so it will just happen on initialize and we can use here fetch where we are doing this request. As a result we want to get from our response JSON, this is why we are calling restJSON and after this we are getting access to our data. So let's console log our data and check how it looks like. As you can see in console we got an array with all these objects with name and independent false. For our application we don't need independent false, we just need an array of strings which will be our countries. This is why here on the top let's create a state to store our list of countries. So we need countries and set countries and it's a use state hook for the string array. And the initial value will be an empty array. As you can see inside our response our data is any, which is not really what I want. We can specify here that we are getting an array of objects and every single object has a name string. Essentially it also has a field independence, but we don't really need that. Now inside of then we can prepare for us a list of our countries. And in order to do that we can simply map through our data, get access to every single country and read country.name. As a result we are getting an array of strings and this is exactly what we want to set inside our state. Let's console log here our countries and check if they are saved correctly. As you can see on initialize we are getting our countries as an empty array and then after we fetch them we are getting 250 countries. This means that our data is successfully prepared and we can render our markup inside. And first of all we want to create a container for the whole single select. This is why here div class name with width, we want fixed width, then font medium and height 80. So width and height is fixed in our case. Now inside we will have a div which we can open. Inside this div we want to render a span with either select country or selected country and also an icon. But we didn't install any libraries to render icons. This is why let's jump in the console and install the library which is called React Icons. And additionally to that I want to install a library which is called Class Names and it is an amazing library which helps us to concatenate classes with different conditions. So here inside our div we first of all will have a span and by default we will render here just text select country. After this span we want to render an icon to open our select. So we can use this arrow down component and we can provide a size inside 20. As you can see select country was rendered as well as our icon but colors are not great. So here on div let's set a class name. First of all we want here background white full width, small padding, flags for our children, we want to center our elements and move it to the left and to the right, so justify between. Also we want here a border and round it. Now it is looking much better, we see here select country and our icon. But the problem is at some point we will select a country, which actually means we need one more state where we will store a selected country. 
So here I want to create selected country variable and here will be set selected country and it will be a use state for just a string because our country is a string. By default I want to save here now because our country is not selected. This is why our type will be also string or null. Now here inside our span we can write logic. So we either render here a select country variable and if we don't have it we are rendering select country text. In our case now it was not changed because the select country is null by default. This is why we are rendering select country. Now when we click on this div we want to toggle our single select which actually means we need one more state to know if our select is opened or not. This is why here I want to create is selector opened so our country selector and here is set is selector opened and it will be also use state of boolean because it can be only true or false and by default it will be false. Now on our div we can apply a non-click function and call this setter set is selected opened and we are just inverting the value of is selector opened which actually means if it was closed we will set it to true if it was open we will set it to false. What we want to do now when we are clicking and opening our single select we want to rotate this icon and in order to do that typically people will write here a class name and then concatenate strings like for example class foo and then they have a variable and they're checking okay is selector opened then we are applying some class bar in other case it's a string. This code is unreadable and they don't recommend you to write it like this. What we can write instead, we can use a class name function that we are getting from class names library. And we are providing inside an object with a key which will be rotate 180 and the value will be is selector opened. What does it mean? This class rotate 180 will be applied to this icon only when is selector opened is in true. If it is false, it won't be applied. Let's check this out. By default it is not applied, I am clicking on it and now it was rotated. Which actually means first of all our click works, our state is correct and we successfully re-rendered this icon by using class names library. Now after our div we want to render a list of our countries. This is why here let's create a UL with some classes. And again I want to apply inside a class name function because it will have condition. What is that? It is either closed so the height is zero or it is opened and then we are rendering our list. This is why inside let's first of all apply all our classes which will be always there. This is why here background white, margin top 2, overflow epsilon auto, so we have a scroller and max height 0 which actually means by default it won't be visible. And as you can see I am applying here true which means all these classes will be always applied to this UL. But after this we can apply an additional class max height 60 and here we will have our logic it is is selector opened. Which actually means this class will be added when is selector opened in true and it will override this max height 0 and we will see this element. Inside our UL we want to render two things, first of all our search bar and secondly the list of the countries. Let's start with the search. It will be an additional div with class name, flex, item center, small margin, it will be sticky, with top zero and background white. Now inside this div we can render a search icon with the size of 18. After this we need to create just a normal input, so it will be an input with type text and our value should be some value input from the state. We don't have it, this is why let's create it. So it will be an input value and a setter, so set input value and this is a use state for the string and by default it will be an empty string. This is great that we wrote lots of logic for our component but we didn't really do any testing and in the real application you want to test your project extensively to avoid bugs on production. And actually I have a full course where I am covering all needed knowledge regarding unit testing and then to end testing inside React. So if you want to bulletproof your React application check the link in the description. Now here we can bind for our value input value state 
And we want also to add here a non-change event where we're getting our event and we're calling set input value where we're providing event target value dot to lowercase. Why I'm doing to lowercase here? Because people can type their search with any possible case. We must convert all our countries and the search to lowercase in order to know what countries we want to show with the filter. Additionally, here I want a placeholder, for example, enter country name and some classes. First of all, let's change a placeholder. It will be text gray 700, small margin and outline none. Now I can click on our select. We see our div with this input and we can type something here. After our div, we want to render a list of countries. This is why here let's just call our countries map and we get access to every single country and we want to return here Lee. First of all, we should not forget to add here a unique key, which will be a country because every single country is unique. And also we need some classes to style them. Again, we're using a class names function and here let's apply some default classes. It will be a padding, then small text. Also here will be a hover, background sky 600. And on hover, we want to change our text to white. And the value here will be true because we want to always apply these classes. But additionally here, we want to write some logic for the selected country. Just to remind you here on the top, we already created selected country. We simply never changed it. And this is totally fine, but we want to apply different styling to our Lee when this specific element is selected. This is why here let's apply background sky. 600 and text white when this country equals our selected country from the state. Now we just need to render a name of the country inside our Lee. As you can see in browser, when we open our single select, we rendered the whole list of all possible countries. And we even highlight our country that we're hovering on. But here we have a problem. What is that? We can type something like Albania and nothing happens. Why is that? Because we still show the whole list of these countries. We want to hide some of them, which don't fit with our search. We can really easy do that by just using a hidden class. So here I want to apply a hidden class with the logic that country dot to lowercase. Don't forget when we're comparing, we need to convert to lowercase starts with, and here we're providing our input value. This is our search. And now we need a negation, which actually means we're applying hidden class to this specifically element when this country starts with the input value that we typed inside. And it works like a charm. We can type here Albania and it is filtering our elements just by hiding all of them. And when we're removing the search, we're showing all these elements because our initial value is an empty string and empty string fits this condition. Now it is time to select our country. This is why on our Lee, we need to apply a non-click event. What do we want to do inside this on-click? First of all, we want to set a country. This is why set selected country and inside I'm providing a country. Just to remind you for selected country, this line should be applied. Let's check this out. I'm selecting Albania and now it is highlighted in blue. Additionally to that, we can see now Albania in our single select. After this, I want to clear our filter. So it will be set input value, empty string and close our single select because we are done. So set is selector opened, must be false. So when I'm selecting Austria, it closes our single select and our filter is cleaned. And the last improvement that I want to do here is the prop for our country selector. Why is that? It doesn't really make sense to use this component on its own because the goal of single select is to provide the value to the outside, which actually means it makes a lot of sense to provide here a country change event. So let's name it on country change. And here we want to create props for this component. So let's name it country selector props. And here on the top, let's define this type, which will have on country change. And it is a function which will get our country, which is a string, and it must return void. As you can see, on country change is never used. 
So what we want to do on our onclick event, we also want to call on country change and provide a country inside. This is how we will notify our parent about our country change. And as you can see now, our app component is wrong because it is mandatory to provide on country change. Why that? Because our component without this callback is completely useless. We can change our country, but we can't do anything with it. This is why here I want to create on country change. And here we are getting access to the country. And we can, for example, console log it here to check that it is working. Now, after I select a country, you see that we are getting console log. So our select successfully delivered a value to our parent. And here I just want to remind you that you don't really need a library for every single small problem. You can solve it on your own and it is much easier to support your own code than the library. So we are done with creating our custom component, but for the real project it is not enough. Why is that? Because you want to test your component and make sure that it works properly and won't break in production. If you want to learn how to test your React application, make sure to check this video where I am covering exactly that.